And I'm Bob Bartlett. It's been nearly a year since the February freeze left the big country and heartland and most of Texas frozen and thousands without electricity and water for days. Well, a neighborhood in North Abilene lost power for five days. And so now with another storm in the forecast, KTAB's Abby Green went back to that neighborhood to see how they're preparing in tonight's top story. The all time snowiest on record for Abilene and San Angelo. Almost exactly a year ago. Well, things rapidly going downhill. This weekend's extreme drop in temperatures. Dangerous roads. The February freeze is tonight's top story. The February freeze barreled through the big country. One neighborhood in North Abilene remembering it quite well. We suffered a lot. Maria Mendez's neighborhood in North Abilene lost power for five days straight from the conditions last year. And with more winter weather on the way, she feels very nervous. <laughs> but not everyone in the neighborhood feels that way. I'm feeling fine because I think I'm pretty good ready for it. Lily Guajardo learned a lot from last year's storm. We didn't have any lights, but I thought we had lights because we had those going everywhere, so it was good. It was good. Guajardo used kerosene lamps when her family lost power and plans to do so again this time if needed. For a source of heat, she used her stove, which her neighbors down the street also used, but they didn't have the same luck. To heat up the whole house. Well, that didn't work. So Larry Seguris and his wife Sheila took blankets. Hung up here so it would cover and hung this up here here and all the heat would come into our room. Even though it wasn't easy. Last year's storm prepared the neighborhood for what's to come. In Abilene with coverage you can count on. And I hope people don't suffer this year. Thank you. Abby Green, KTAB News. Thank you, Abby. Kind of feels like deja vu. The D Texas Department of Insurance record records saying that the February freeze a year ago, it forced more than half a million Texans to submit insurance claims for more than $10 billion in damages. Well, school districts have also